Let's see. This one maybe. Hmm, no. This one? Oof, no. Oof, go away. No. Um, ah, this one, of course. Okay, so I want to show you real quick how the Surface Tracker works in DaVinci Resolve. And the Surface Tracker, what it does is, well, it can track flowy moving surfaces like skin, fabric, fur, those kind of things. And it's really cool because you can put a logo on a t-shirt like I did, or you can give someone tattoos or even a scar in their face. And it works really well just like that in the automatic setting. So you'll get great results super fast. The only thing is, the only problem, well, and I'm sorry guys, because I know that many of you are using the free version of DaVinci Resolve, but the Surface Tracker is only available in the studio version. But I still want to show you because, I don't know, I want to warm you up for DaVinci Resolve Studio. Because remember, it's still just a one-time fee, so no monthly subscription. But anyway, let me show you how I put those logos on my t-shirt in DaVinci Resolve 18 using the Surface Tracker. In DaVinci Resolve, select the clip that you want to use, make sure that the playhead is over the clip, and then go to the color page. And then first, and this is really important, especially if you're also working with log footage, which doesn't have a lot of contrast, add contrast, because DaVinci Resolve needs a lot of contrast to get a good tracking. If there's not enough contrast, the results won't be that good. So I'm just going to use one of my LUTs here and then increase the contrast a little bit more. But this is just for the tracking. Afterwards, you can still color grade however you want. And then go to the effects here and find the surface tracker. Add it as a second node, just drag and drop, and then connect it. Green, green, that's it. Then. Make sure Bounce is selected here and draw a rectangle on whatever you want to track. If you want a different shape, you can add some more points here, but for this example, a rectangle works just fine. Then go to Mesh and now you can see the mesh that DaVinci Resolve created. Usually it does a really good job, but I'm just gonna add a few more points. And then select Track here and I'm gonna set this to Better instead of Faster. And then just track. The playhead is at the start of my clip, so just track to end here. And that's it! See how all those points move now when my t-shirt moves? Pretty cool! And then all we have to do is add a logo. I have one here in my media pool, it's a PNG, so with a transparent background. Drop it in the node panel and it will add a matte node. And then just connect green with this green here and the top blue output, the matte output, connect it with the bottom blue input of the tracker. And that's it! And if you want to tweak the results some more, select the tracker node, go to results and here in overlay placement, click on go to reference. And now you can resize and reshape the logo, add some perspective and down here the composite type, let's do soft light maybe, so that it looks like it's a print on my t-shirt. And that's it. That's really cool, right? And it's insane how good it works just like that. I still can't believe how we can do these things in just minutes these days. It still blows my mind. But remember guys, you don't need the studio version. Just learn how to use the free version first and then, you know, once you've outgrown that free version, go for studio. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.